If you want to reach the guitar level you're dreaming of, you need to do the right things. So in this video, I'll share how you can create a practice routine that actually works for you. My name is Simon and I'm a guitarist, music producer and graphic designer from Norway. I'm here to share everything I learned so far in my journey and document what I learned in real time. This video is split into two parts. Part one is about defining your focus and part two is the practice routine itself. Keep in mind that there is not only one correct practice routine in this entire universe, but I will give you a practice routine that I know is going to work. I'm also going to explain why it works. Let's start with part one, define your focus. Before you practice, you need to figure out what you should practice. To help with this, I like to divide guitar into a few important main skills. Here we have chords, technique, scales, arpeggios, learning songs, improvisation, oral skills, and musicality. Then what I like to do is to write all of these down. Then underneath each main skill, I write down all of the sub skills I want to focus on right now. Now this is your roadmap of what to practice. If you're not sure exactly what sub skills you should learn, then it's very beneficial to get advice from someone else. But now let's move on to the second part, the practice routine itself. I'm gonna divide this into five simple steps. First, I'm going through each of the steps and in the end, I'm going to put everything together. Step one is the warm up. Personally, I don't do a lot of traditional warm ups. What I usually do instead is to do some exercises to practice a specific skill. So what I mean is that, for example, right now, I'm trying to double down on triads, triads. <laughs> so what I do is simply to do some simple exercises with triads. In this way, I get some time on triads every single day. Unless you're going to practice something very technical, I'll say that the warm-up is optional, but useful. Step two is to learn new information. Let's say that your goal is to learn all the shapes of the major scale. If you have never done that before, well, <laughs> you need to learn it somewhere. You don't just learn it from nowhere. This can be from a guitar teacher, YouTube, online courses, play with a plan, which is my solution to this, or something else. You can learn something new every day, or you can learn something new, for example, every Monday. Maybe Monday is your learning day, and then the rest of the days are simply practice days. Okay, so now you have learned something, and that leads us to step three, which is to practice what you have just learned. Let's keep using the major scale as an example. So you have just learned the different shapes of the major scale. Now we could do exercises to get better at these shapes. Simple as that. And if you have learned something else, then you just need to find different exercises to get better at those things. Step four is to implement what you have just learned and practiced. We want to be able to actually use our new skills. So far, we have learned the major scale shapes. We have practiced the major scale shapes. Now it's time to implement and actually use them in real music. Some good approaches are to play over a backing track and you don't need to improvise like a god. This is practice or creating a simple song. The key is to use what you have learned in some way. If you want all the steps I'm talking about in this video laid out for you, you can get this on playwithaplan.com. Here you're gonna learn new information, get good exercises to practice the new information, and then challenges to implement what you learn. So that's playwithaplan.com. The link is gonna be in the description. Step five of the practice routine is to do a simple technique workout. One of the best things you can do for your guitar playing is to do some technique every single day, if you can, or at least as often as possible, even if it's only like five minutes. This is a topic for another video, but the main idea is to find at least one exercise, then play it with a metronome and gradually increase the tempo over time. And focus on playing correctly, that's important. If not, you're just learning to play incorrectly. <laughs> that's not good. To conclude, here are all the five steps of this practice routine all together. Step one, the warm up. As mentioned, this is optional, but very useful. You can do this for around five minutes. Next step is to learn new information. And you don't have to include this in every practice session. You can if you want to, 
but you can also have one day a week which is focused on learning. Step three is where you practice what you have learned. Throughout the week, make sure you get time for everything you have defined as your focus right now. Step four is to implement what you have learned. Step five is doing a simple technique workout. You can, of course, move this to other places in your practice routine if you want to. And the durations I've set are just guidelines. And very important, keep in mind that the best practice routine is the one that you actually follow. Take whatever you want from this video. Now I've given you a good framework. Keep it simple, because simple is good. And if you think it's hard to know what to practice, you should check out the next video on the screen, where I cover exactly what to learn on guitar in order.